With the global population growing from 7 billion to 9 billion people, by 2050, the demand for meat will double. We can't just continue doing what we've been doing. We're starting to hit planetary resource limits with traditional livestock agriculture. We know that by the year 2050, there will be 9 billion mouths to feed. To see, of course, the population is going to double in a, in, a, in a few decades. I am convinced that in 20 years' time, when we look back on today, and we look at how we raise and slaughter billions of animals to make our food and our footwear, we'll see it as being highly unsustainable. Uh, food security has been identified as an issue, together with environmental uh, impact. But today, my task and the task of this forum isn't really just to talk about the problem, it's to talk about solutions to the problem. We think research is the engine that drives innovation. Innovation in agriculture is essential for our lives. Gathered amongst us, amongst you, are so many innovators, so many people with creative ideas. We expect this product to save between 40 to 50 percent of the water spent on irrigation. This isn't just about talk. This is about action. But where there's a challenge, there's also significant business opportunity. Research is the engine that drives innovation. And innovation is what helps to develop solutions to food security challenges. This is certainly an exciting time to be an agricultural scientist. We've brought our urban farming system over to the show from Australia. Uh, this audience is looking at uh, innovation, is looking at uh, sustainable uh, investments, and that is what we are here for. The product's aimed at urban farming, so it's ideal for people who want to grow their own vegetables on rooftops, balconies, um, even in their backyard. We're a brand new NGO that's been going for just one year. There's no one silver bullet, there's no one magic solution here. What's needed actually is a portfolio of different solutions. The way this worked was wonderful. We heard the presentation at the beginning at the opening by Bill Gates saying that innovation should be funded. To help the poorest seize agriculture's potential, we need to unleash as much innovation as possible. Hydrophobic sand is water-fearing in the Greek terminology. It's water-fearing sand, so it, it repels water. Water is almost the, the, the gold of the future. This is the Tarshid product, tar foam. If I press it a little bit, you can see the water coming out of it. So what we are able to do now is apply a layer of our hydrophobic sand underneath that sweet soil, stopping any percolation from going through. There are some very, very important things coming out of the, the, the group that you've gathered together here. And I gave a presentation here yesterday about our work on lab-grown hamburgers. Events like this one are very important because they bring together the innovators, the food producers, the policy makers, and the investors. What is interesting here is to connect the dots. We are totally dedicated to working in Africa. We're based in Nairobi. It's, it's been phenomenal. I sat at lunch today and I was with a guy who has invented a, an amazing and extremely um, efficient and cheap system to provide the world with energy. These are amazing opportunities to get. Um, the conference is working. The idea is that you share ideas, you network, and you figure out ways to collaborate to meet this food challenge. And it just so happens that this particular conference has all those component parts. It has the investors, it has the users, it has the producers, it has all the interest that you could possibly ask for. We're saving the planet and we are feeding the future. We've got to talk not just to a quantity of people, but the quality of visitors here has been very, very impressive. So some high-powered people, people who can make decisions, are talking to us about ways of cooperating for the future. All day long we've walked around the conference and people that have seen what we're doing have already ordered our minerals and want to use our, our product. We think uh, the world needs something like this uh, and it could develop into uh, a really major event for agriculture. And I think the success of it will lie in what happens after these two days are over. These type of events, um, and maybe even in particular this one, is, is important for everybody, not just people working in this field, but basically for the entire world.